Good morning neighbors and welcome to CG Family Farm. Unfortunately, you won't get to see much of the farm today, but what you will get to see is a lot of the subcompact tractor because today we have it loaded up and ready to go on another job. We have a customer about 30 minutes from here that has a driveway that needs to get regraded. It has been padded down and honestly the water has gotten to it to where it has a little bit of slopes here and there and we have to redo the whole thing. So. Today, that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to show you a little tips and tricks of how we regrade a driveway and hope you're ready to go because we're ready. Well, as you can see back there, we've made it guys. So we're here on the job site. Um, I'm going to give you a quick overview of how the gravel driveway looks at this moment. I'm going to give you my thought process on how I plan to fix this driveway. By no means do I consider myself an expert, but I am passionate. I really do like what I do, and I want to make sure that every single customer that I serve gets a really great, well made job. So, for that reason, if you have any kind of advice, any kind of tips or tricks, please comment below. That way, next time I do help out friends and family, I can do an even better job because you guys help me out as well. So, as you can see, this driveway is pretty long driveway. I'm going to estimate about 700 feet, 800 feet maybe. What? We're going to start up here because honestly there's more gravel up there. You see how it dips down on this left side? As we make our way down, she wants to get rid of this hump in the center. This hump building up grass and she drives a low car so she says every now and then she actually fills that hump scraping underneath her car the benefit is that we already have this side ditch here and that's going to help us guide the water away however i'm going to show you down here on this side how even though you have that ditch the water because of the slope of this hill and how fast it runs down it still causes the water to go over the gravel driveway and wash it out so this is where we really need to work right here if you can see that's a big indention in the gravel driveway down here is the same thing again like i said you have this little ditch that they had installed some kind of pipe underneath it to make it actually guide itself down this way but as you can see it still manages to get over the gravel driveway and runs down both sides where the tires actually ride on right here we need to refinish all this we need to refinish all this side this is going to be the last of it this last little curve she says she's fine the way it is we're not really going to touch that side because she really doesn't want to spend too much on gravel she said about three years ago she brought in about six truckloads of gravel she brought in a contracting company that redid this whole driveway so right now that's why i'm only here to regrade the top of it because it has plenty of gravel underneath it that i can bring up resurface it and that way she can actually have a more smoother ride as she drives up this hill to her house because in her car if it rains she has a hard time getting up here so now that you know how we're going to do it we're going to go up there where the tractor's at we're going to set up our box grader of how we're going to do things and we're going to get started guys so i'm going to start with securing this box grader centered because as you can see it still sways back and forth and that's because i haven't secured in these rods in the center so i'm going to show you how to do that and that way you know that you're actually putting the box grader all the way down when it does because if you have a backhoe attachment like i do it actually bumps on the sides and i'll show you where exactly at so right here is the backhoe attachment and as you let down your box grader if you don't have this completely centered it actually bumps on this side and sometimes it's happened where i bring it down and one side actually goes all the way down and the other side doesn't so your box grader becomes uneven and then you're not getting the result you want from that box grader so i bring it down slightly so with my lever up here i'm going to bring it down halfway when i get it halfway then i'm going to center it once i center it completely i bring it all the way down to make sure it's centered and then i secure it secure it in place by tightening up this rod right here So what I did there at the end was that I wanted to make sure that it was nice and level. As you can see, one side was a little bit slow, 
you got your adjustment bar on that side you start turning it until you actually see it nice and level and now depending on what you're going to do next to me i'm actually just going to try to turn the gravel around before i actually scrape it down i'm going to put those forks down and i'll show you how that's done so the reason I brought it over here, what I found to be much easier when working with these forks is that if you find a slope for your tractor and it actually gives you enough room, these forks are actually a lot easier to go in th through there because this doesn't go high enough to actually make them go in there whenever you're on flat ground. Forks, thumbs, whatever you want to call it, these right here need enough space to get up underneath it. So like I said, if you have plenty of gravel with, with, where you're going to work at, you can actually put these on the lower setting because when you start turning the gravel around you don't want to bring up too much dirt so don't go too low on them i'm going to put them probably on the second hole because she says she has lots of gravel and then from there if it all looks good then we might go to the third hole and then the box grader how you actually want to tilt it depends on what you're about to do like myself since the first trip that i go all the way down the driveway all i'm trying to do is flip around that gravel i don't want to actually have it at an angle which actually causes the gravel to come with me so I want to have it actually tilted a little bit more back and when it does that I'm actually trying to hover above that gravel and actually just use the little forks or thumbs to bring out the gravel then on the third or fourth uh, drive down the driveway I'll actually turn it forward and then I can start moving that gravel down to where we actually need it so let's adjust that change hats here because it's getting a little sunny and let's get started All right, so that was my first scrape. As you can see, it still looks a little bit rough. It's not intended to be finished yet. The reason why I'm gonna stop on this upper section and go down to the lower section is because I know she doesn't wanna spend too much on gravel. Uh, actually, she really doesn't wanna even bring another truck of gravel. So everything that I moved around up here, I'm hoping I can still use down there where it gets really bad. So I'm gonna go down there, work on that side, and then see how much gravel we're gonna need from this top side to bring down to the bottom side. So this is where it's gonna get a little bit more complicated because as you can see, it really has a few spots that have no gravel in it at all. So that's why I left that top side just a lot more messy and that way I can go back up there, bring the gravel necessary down here. Another thing that I wanted to uh, explain to you or give you more information about before I continue is that if you saw the box grader, the level that I had it, it benefits you not only to actually only get the forks inside the ground and not pull gravel, but actually when you start back scraping you saw how much more gravel it pushed at that angle if i had it more on an incline it actually wouldn't push anything if i reversed so that also helps me out going forward and going back uh one more thing that i actually did do that i didn't mention was that i actually went to the third hole on the thumb all the way down on the fork because on the second one i wasn't grabbing too much so i went all the way to the bottom one i'm going to keep it at that angle i'm going to keep it where that thumb is all the way down and we're going to scrape this up and down a few turns see how it looks then after that i can actually start inclining the back scraper and actually start giving this a little bit more of a finish but right now i want to see what i have to work with underneath okay so we're done with at least the basic part of scraping 
I, if you saw, I scraped downward, then I went back upward to actually start filling in some of those potholes that we had on the side. They're a little bit more filled in now, but now what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to go turn that box grater at an angle, start hitting that whole side right there. So when I hit that whole side, some of that grass is actually going to get onto the, gra onto the gravel. So that's why I want to do it now before I give it that finish and pass over and be able to clean off that grass if it gets pretty bad. So let me show you how those potholes look, are looking right now before we continue on to the next step. So if you remember here is where it really got pretty bad. There's potholes all over this side of the driveway. Now we're gonna go back up. You see how much gravel I pulled up from underneath? Right here, unfortunately, we are starting to see a little bit of dirt, but that's why up on top of the driveway, we left some leftover gravel so we can actually bring it back down here and fill, all, fill it all in. No more potholes on this side. We have one more little pothole up here that we have to fix, but we, we're still gonna give it that last final scrape downward and get all this filled in real smoothly. So like I mentioned, now we're gonna work on this side, get it a little bit of a slope, and then that way, all that water that comes from that hill will no longer jump this driveway and stay stuck in the middle. It should stay right here in this little side ditch, guide its way all the way out. So let's tilt that box grater and get to work, guys. All right, so as you saw, we got that side scraped down fairly well. We got a much better slope now, and now the water definitely has to stay on this slope, definitely has to stay on this little ditch and stay off the driveway. So I'm gonna show you real quick, even down here, just in case the water does happen to overfill and start running off, it doesn't go to the other house. It actually, we're gonna actually make it go down this way as we start scraping down the rest of the driveway I'm gonna go up here and show you how it looks like right now and then after this we're gonna start bringing in the box grater to give it that finishing touch make sure it's nice and level now we can level this out because we know we have this to stop all the water that comes up from the hill see and it's already starting to get filled in if you remember how bad this really was big difference now customer came out here and took a look at it she's actually really satisfied with how we're doing so far so we're gonna keep going finish it up for her make sure she really likes it before we head on out since like I mentioned we're done with a little side now we can actually flip our thumbs or forks we can flip them upward and the box grater we have it nice and level now because now we're just gonna give it that finish and touch all the way down all right so ready one more little tip I'm gonna give you is up here is that Whenever you set your setting for how high you're going to have your box grader, if it's a long driver like this and you're unsure of how much gravel you have to work with, I recommend put it on number five first before you go all the way down to one. Put it on number five, give it a nice little pass, see how it looks. If you have enough space, then you can take it down to a three. But the higher, the better for the first two, three passes. Then after that, you can see how much gravel you got left over and start going down from there. So you ready for this? Now up in the sky you go.
So there it is guys, another job well done. Customer just drove down here with her car. She went up and down the driveway, she really liked it. So we're all done here, we're loaded up, we're getting ready to head out. So there you go guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that quick little video of how to grade your driveway. Like I said, if you're gonna move some gravel to the top from the bottom, always keep it around level five. Uh, I did have to go down to level three there at the top to really move that gravel down here, but mainly the rest of it was just level five to four, five to four to make sure I maintain that nice level um, ground all the way through the gravel driveway. So in the meantime, guys, while you guys watch another video, I'm going to finish all this up and I'm going to head on home. So I hope you like this video, you subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you next time.